Honey, I'm home. Hi, I'm Sangeeta and welcome to my channel. Today we are making marble cake. Swirls of tender spongy vanilla and chocolate. This marble cake looks fancy but tastes like pure old-fashioned goodness. It's moist, fluffy and easy to make. That one egg in the recipe can be easily replaced so my vegetarian folks don't stop watching this recipe. This recipe is for you too. In a large mixing bowl, melt 50 grams of salted butter. If you're using unsalted butter, toss in 1 fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Pour in half a cup or 125 ml of cooking oil. Adding oil gives you moist and soft cake. Now drop in 1 and a half cup or 375 grams of brown sugar. You can add refined white sugar if you wish to. Whisk this up for a little while. You can use an electric beater if you wish to, but a whisk would do too. I've used brown sugar in this recipe because once baked, it gives out a beautiful caramelized flavor to your cake and the taste is unbeatable. Brown sugar contains molasses which gives deep caramel or toffee-like flavor to your cake. The cake would also taste richer and be really moist. The sugar does not have to break down or dissolve, nor does it have to cream. A little whisk is all you need to do. Now break in an egg and whisk it in. The egg can be replaced with one third of a cup of yogurt. The cake would still taste the same and also look the same. You do not have to whisk this for long. Now add half a cup of yogurt. Adding yogurt makes your cake super moist. That's a beautiful marble. Just whisk this in until combined. That's looking good now. We will now be using 1 cup of cold milk, but I will not be adding all of it at once. Pour in half a cup of milk and whisk that in. Now add a tablespoon of vanilla essence and mix that up. Drop in 2 tablespoons of corn flour. Adding corn flour to your batter gives you this wonderful texture to your cake. Do not skip this. Whisk this until combined. You can sieve all of your dry ingredients if you wish to, but I never do. It's an extra step and an extra utensil to wash. But if you wish to sieve your ingredients, go ahead and do it. We will be adding 2 cups or 500 grams of all-purpose flour, but I'll be adding only half of it now. So add 1 cup of flour and whisk that in. Whisk only until combined, do not overbeat the mixture. Those using electric beater switch to a spatula or a whisk now. Pour in the rest of the milk that is half a cup of milk and whisk that in. Now add the rest of the flour. This is how your batter should look after 2 cups of flour and 1 cup of milk. Now add half a teaspoon of baking soda and one and a half teaspoon of baking powder. Mix this up.
Let's keep the main batter aside now. Now to make the chocolate batter, pour in 1 cup or 250 grams approximate of the batter into another bowl. If you want more chocolate swirls, add more batter. If you need less chocolate swirls, add less batter for the chocolate part. Adjust accordingly. Now toss in 2 tablespoons of cocoa powder. Drop in a teaspoon of instant coffee powder as well. Coffee powder brings out the richness in your chocolate batter. If you wish not to use, that's okay too. Mix until combined. Now add 1 fourth of a cup of cold milk to the batter to loosen it up. This batter now has a pudding like luscious texture. That's ready. Now prep a tin. I'll be baking it in a bread tin. You can use any tin of your preference. I'm going for a loaf cake today. Pour in the batter alternatively like so, using a spoon. You can see that I'm layering the batter at the same spot. If you're new to this channel, hi and welcome. I'm so glad you found your way to my channel. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. You can also find the written recipe and my Instagram handle in the description box below. Once I'm done layering in the middle, I'll be layering at the side like so. This makes sure you have beautiful swirls when you cut in. When you reach the last bit of the batter, just drop and spread it like so. Now use a knife or a chopstick or any stick and run it in this motion. Draw an S making sure the bottom of your knife is scratching the bottom of your tin. Do not tear the baking paper though. Once you've reached the other side, swirl back again, drawing a mirrored S. That's beautifully done. Now bake this in a preheated oven at 150 degrees Celsius for 45 to 55 minutes. Sometimes it can take an hour too, depending on your oven. It took me 50 minutes. That's out and done and baked beautifully. Unmold it and allow it to cool on a wire rack. You can see how easily it cuts through. The cake has a beautiful crumb. It was so moist and so, so delicious. You really got to try it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Until next time.